Oh, Lord, I hope I don't put my foot in my mouth, all right? Because I got something to say. Now, you know I want to gossip, but... All right, and the barbs, let me tell y'all's asses, get up out of here. I can have my opinion. Get up out of here. Get up. What's up, y'all? Green gal. Back with another video. I had to do this video today with this Nicki Minaj shit going on. Like, I couldn't. Reaction. Yeah. Subscribe. Nicki and Lotto Beef. You guys, listen. I had to. I had to. And I, I, I got some shit to say. Period. So we're just going to get into it. All right. First of all, this is Lil' Kim right now. This is Cardi B right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't singing the same song, Nikki. Everybody ain't singing the same song, Nick. Okay, so listen to this. First of all, Nikki, I thought you hated the Grammys. I thought you was boycotting the Grammys. I thought the Grammys wasn't shit. I thought all that. So why do you care? Like what? I'm just tripping. But remember, she's notorious for beefing with uh, young girls. Cause remember when she rolled up on Miley Cyrus, y'all? Do you remember when she rolled up? Press, Miley, what's good? Do you remember that shit? So she's notorious for beefing with girls who literally she feels like she could beat up. I don't know. To me, I've never I've never been a Nicki fan. She's never been my cup of tea. I just feel like any she was always a gimmick. And I I, I was always you could ask anybody, by the way, otherwise back in the day to now. She's had a couple bops, don't get me wrong. Like we that's undeniable. Music is music. But I've never been on like the Nicki train. That's just me though. But I want to address what she said about Lotto being a Karen. Lotto is just as much black as any one of us because we all know that even back in the day, if he was 1% black, he was considered black. So that is blowing me from Nicki Minaj right now. Like just in all, it's blowing me right now. With that being said, I don't understand how she could say female rap is going to be obsolete of black women when every single person that she put on her remix is black. All the female rappers coming up right now. I'm talking, um, we got uh, Asian Doll. We got Akbar. We got um, Bia. We got all um, Megan Thee Stallion. All these people are black. Like, what is she talking about? The jab she thought was going to land just didn't land. She thought she ate with it, and she just... And Lotto, we all know that Lotto has always given it up for Nicki Minaj. And the crazy part about it is, is that you throw up something like, yeah, she she was a, a fan of mine. And did it, like, this is how you treat your fans? Like, this is how you treat people that really was genuinely been down with you from the jump? Like, I'm just so disappointed in you. Which I'm not, because I've always... The, Anybody that always got a gimmick and can't be real, I knew there was some bullshit going on with Nicki Minaj. And that's why I just never felt her. But I digress. But I will say this too, Kim, we see you, baby, and we we hear you. You was right the whole time. This makes me see that it wasn't Kim, it wasn't Mariah, it wasn't every. This is all the common denominator is you, girl. I also want to address something she said about moving the goalpost. Okay, and I bet you that a lot of those people felt it trying to get into the industry when you were in the industry i mean think about it y'all like back when she did come out she was under young money which was birdman was killing it okay had enough money to buy some money you understand what i'm saying so of course he now i'm that i'm thinking about it i feel like he had a lot to do with her success in terms of there being no competition of, of it being just you he was able to make that possible and i really i, I can see that now you know what i mean and where are your friends where are your man somebody should be sticking up and telling you like girl beefing with this young girl is not a good look Somebody should be telling you that. Like, what? and why aren't they? You know why? Because when you treat people like shit, we've heard stories about Nicki Minaj and how she get down. You know, her personality is real, real strong, right? But when you treat people like shit, she probably, everybody around her has probably been fed up with her for years. So she, they probably given her just enough rope to hang her goddamn self. And it's like, oh, oh. You know how when you be on uh, somebody, you falling off and you be like, oh, well, I, you did it to yourself. And I, I see why not a lot of people are like sticking up for her or calling her. Cause girl, now you bet. Now you surprised that ain't nobody sticking up for you. Girl. Now, if she was smart, what she would do is she would say, hey, okay, they moved my record to pop. Nobody, no woman has ever dominated two genres. So you know what, rap? 
let me go ahead and give you a rest let the newcomers have this shit and let me go try to tackle something different and conquer something different that should have that would have been the ultimate boss move and double triple quadrupled her bag you see what i'm saying but now just like cardi b said you're out here fucking up your legacy looking like a fucking hater ah, like a fucking hater and it's the last thing i swear to god i'll do this before you go she said the industry is not giving people deserving of it who's been in the industry that worked for 10, 15 years uh, and they're just giving it to any damn body. And it's not that they're not giving people what they deserve. Everybody has a time. Everybody has their time to shine, okay? That's why they say get it while they're getting is good because everybody has their moment. And it doesn't mean that you're less of an artist or you even have less of an impact culturally because you're not on top. It just means you just gotta shift directions. And I just don't understand how she's falling so far and so hard from grace that it's it's kind of fucking sad to watch. Like, and that's, I bet you that's probably why she never, she couldn't stay with Nas. And that's why she with her husband. Cause her husband is a yes man too. You got all these yes men around you. He just happy to be around for the ride. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't gonna tell her and check her when she need to be. Somebody needs to get in her ass. And these celebrities, stop subbing her. Stop saying, oh, well, when you call people a Karen, you know who did that shit. Call Nicki Minaj ass out and hold her accountable because this shit is not it. But this is the game, gods. When you do bitch shit, bitch shit happens back. The way you got in the game and you snub little Kim, bitch, I knew. I didn't know it was going to come back years later. But one thing about them tables, huh? Huh? What they do? Them tables always turn, baby. And I, this would be a good time for you, Kimmy, to come back into the game and do something with these young girls coming up. The JTs, the Young Miami. This would be a good time for you, boo, because we, 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 we see it now, baby. We see it, okay? So you guys, whoo, what y'all think? What do you let me know? Let me know. Put your comments down below what you think. All right, and the barbs, let me tell y'all's asses. Get up out of here. I can have my opinion. Get up out of here. Get up out. I had to drop that just real quick. I'll see you guys on my next video. My eye got cleared, so I'm about to go ahead and do this makeup and get into a look. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.